Welcome to Social Genius, brought to you by Drunk on Social, where we help you stay ahead of social media trends, share the latest news, and highlight the strategies that are working to help you grow your business. Now let's join our hosts, Tristan and Jeff, in three, two, one. Does all this social media knowledge, strategies, and skills from this podcast really matter if you don't use video? The truth is any presence is better than no presence, but without video, you're really limiting your growth. It's no secret that video is the future of all media. It's where all consumers gravitate, so executing at a higher level than your industry peers is an absolute necessity to create differentiation. You can hire a full-time videographer, but is that really sustainable? The answer is no for many, which is why it is critical that you adopt and learn video skills to allow you to create video that will stand out. Having camera presence, knowing what equipment to use and how to use it, proper lighting, video editing, music and voiceovers, scripting, and many other topics are the reason why Business Video School was created. To teach you how to develop these skills quickly and easily with over-the-top support along the way so that you never feel lost. The Business Video School is a comprehensive video education platform that delivers all of this training, but also creates actual video recipes with instructions and scripts for you to execute relevant content weekly with all of the skills you learn. And it doesn't stop there. Regular video challenges, weekly Q&As, a real estate video roadmap, a community of people learning and experimenting with video, and so much more. Seriously, what are you waiting for? Why wouldn't you join the Business Video School today? Go to www.bizvideoschool.com forward slash open dash house and register for the next open house where you'll, you'll learn more and get a chance to hear from current students and even ask them questions. That's bizvideoschool.com. Check it out. Welcome back to I can't the even Social hear you. Genius. So, I can't even hear you. All right, well, let me get up on the microphone here. This episode brought to you by Star Wars. Star Wars. You're a stormtrooper. Okay. And I'm Boba Fett. Don't forget that. I can't breathe in here. We're done with this. It was kind of clouding up, dude. Can you believe this guy thought that this was the Mandalorian every day? I don't have a clue, and I'm proud of it. So welcome back. I think this is episode either 59 or 60. I'm not really sure because we don't have in here. We usually have in. Actually, we're never in person. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but we're not in a... I can touch him. Oh, you're this recording this there too? Yes. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Well, not anymore. It's off. I just wanted the intro. Oh, that's good. So welcome back. Welcome back to The Social Genius. We, this is our first ever live episode. We actually have an entire camera crew here as well. So live in person. Live in person. Both of us. Correct. Yes, you're right. Not just live on Zoom. Yeah. Yes. Or, or YouTube. Or YouTube. That's right. That's right. That's right. So welcome back. So we've got a, a shit ton of topics to talk about today. First of all, brought to you by, also brought to you by uh, Tristan's Drinks. I've been raiding his refrigerator just because I wanted to see all the things that he drinks. The coffee one is Throughout really the course good. of the day. So buddy, where do you want to start here today? Let's start with, um, well, first of all, why am I here? Oh, that good question. So you're here because we want to create a better system for Drunk on Social, right? Which is our social social company and now we started coaching group coaching by the way if you're listening group coaching what we do is we bring a lot of people together and we help them with their social media presence specifically for real estate or small businesses but that's really it so we're trying to outline that we took advantage of of that and now have two great video guys out here locally recording us and recording this podcast so let's get this started elon musk man elon musk has been trying to buy twitter it feels like it's been going on for years, but it just happened, what, two weeks ago? And now they're trying to block them because the board's saying, no, you're going to be, it's too volatile. We don't want you to own Twitter because you have your own agenda. But he's saying, hey, you know what? Even if you block me, we're going to go around that. And he's going directly to the shareholders. And the shareholders, from what I'm seeing and reading, they're for it. I mean, dude, if I was a shareholder, wouldn't you want Elon Owning Twitter, just just for the mere <laughs> fun of having, entertainment, yeah, entertainment, yeah, mm-hmm. it, it would put it on the map even more. I know it's the fourth most visited website in the world, but I almost feel like the relevance of it for, let's say, marketing like Facebook, Instagram, and even TikTok, it's not there. 
You think Elon would invite Trump back? <laughs> I know he would. <laughs> I would be hilarious, and he would. He I mean, then that would. then Twitter would all of a sudden yeah. become massively. Not that it's not relevant now, but I think it becomes even like it's interesting, quadruply relevant. Yeah, yeah, and I think it would open up. It would just open up differently. Why do you think Twitter doesn't want this to happen? Mm. They feel like they have a difference of opinion between what freedom of speech looks like, between what Elon is saying, and what Twitter, the most of the the board says. That AKA freedom. why Trump's not there. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. That is interesting, man. Anyway, just good to pay attention to because if he, if it, if this does happen, all of a sudden. It's, it's a whole different direction for social media with Twitter, right? I mean, as if there's not enough to keep up with as it is. I mean, I, I need to actually open up my Twitter and post to it now. Yes, yes. As D-Rock said, we should be doing one a day at least. Yeah, at least. All right, what you got for me? Uh, let's move over to Instagram, which is talking about an algorithm update. Uh, which will hold on. Let me get to it here. This is uh, different because we're we're on our on our computers, which we normally are, but we're usually staring at them, uh, not live, not Algor live together. Algorithm update. Interesting. The, an update to put more focus on original content, which is great. Oh, instead of instead of the paid content. But I think that and just <laughs> general That's no, and that and sharing other people's content. Oh. In other words, if you're putting out well, number one, I think original to the platform. If if, mm -hmm. if if I had to guess, in other words, if you're sharing your TikTok. That's not original content to the platform. You're shared from a different platform. Correct. And okay. if you're sharing stuff, I just think you're going to probably get a boost. There's actually, mm. there's an article that we'll link, we'll link in the show notes. Uh, Adam Masseri is actually talking about this. And Adam Masseri um, is the CEO of Instagram. If you don't follow him, you should follow him uh, because he's always putting out updates on what's coming with Instagram that you should be paying attention to. Last name is Masseri, M-O-S-S-E-R-I. Mm -hmm. It said actually. Here's a quote from him: If you create something from scratch, you should get more credit than if you were resharing something that you found Ooh. from someone else. They're setting the boundaries, dude. Yeah, I love that. But, but you know what's missing? Here's what's missing when he when he says that, because I can see how I would totally do that on YouTube, because I'm getting paid, right? Over that, well, half of the revenue yep. went to creators. Yep. Versus you're telling me to do that on on Instagram. I like it, but why? Why am I going to do it? Besides you showing me to, let's say, Joe and Fiona and whoever else, but I'm not getting paid, so why am I going to be encouraged to create more there? I think that's the big part they're missing. Yeah, I would agree. And actually, an update to what I, what I was assuming, it actually says here, content edited outside of Instagram, then uploaded to the app, won't be penalized. In other words, the idea oh. is if you made it, it's still original. So the way we're that really we're doing it still shares. works. Correct. So Correct. For, for those of you who don't remember, the way that we do it is we have our Viva video app. Mm -hmm. So we're shooting everything on our cameras on our iPhone. Cinematic view if you have the new one. And as we're going through, we then go and take it or upload it to Viva video, edit it up, and then export it. And then we typically export it to Instagram yep. and TikTok. Yep. And then we use SnapTick to remove the... Logo from which it does yeah. mention that it says that you so you won't be downgraded if you're sh creating it outside of Instagram, mm -hmm. but you still will be penalized if you're sharing it with visible logos or watermarks. Visible logos? They say visible logos, not just watermarks. So when we're talking about log watermarks, you're talking mm -hmm. about TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. But logos, in other words, you know, so if I put Fitzer Media, you put a brilliant tribe. I wonder if we're actually being downgraded because we're essentially. I don't think so. I think they just mean TikTok and they don't want to say TikTok. Well, they do. Oh, they do? They do. Which, which was specifically re refocused on reshares of TikTok content to Reels. Oh. It said, well, it says content with visible logos or watermarks will still be penalized under that policy. So In then, Reels, at least. In Reels, at least. Yeah. It does say. It also says that posting history is a factor. It says, Masseri notes that content aggregators are the focus of this update, and Instagram will be able to refer to an account's posting history as one way of determining this. So if the account is an aggregator, we'll, we'll more likely be able to detect that it's not so, original. So the more you post, the better, as long as it's um, original? No, I think what they're saying in that regard is, so like there's this account that I follow that's a Warren Buffett account. It's not really Warren Buffett, but they share a bunch of 
you know, they'll share like Gary V or they'll share mm. other people's quote. Like there was one the other day with Mark Cuban. I think what they're saying is, is that's a repost of somebody else's stuff mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and is going to basically be downgraded. Oh, In other words, I think, I think the, if I'm reading between the lines here, so you're make saying this I about shouldn't... you. Make this about you. Got it. Okay, I shouldn't share your shit anymore. Is that what no, you're no, saying? No, no, no. You should <laughs> share it. I'm going to get penalized. Why the fuck am I going to share your shit? You don't share my shit anyway. Uh, I do. Dude. A little bit here and there. I like your stuff. <laughs> I like some of your stuff. I'm not Adam Missouri. All right, all right. Next. I like that, by the way. I love the algorithm change. Yeah. I like that Agreed. a lot. Agreed. I think they're... they're I still think the TikTok algorithm is way better. It is, indeed. But I, I still like Instagram more. Um, I know you like TikTok better. That's correct. All right, so Snapchat. They had 13 million users, but most of them come from outside of the U.S. Right? That that was a surprise for me. I thought they were just... Dude, Blowing when I, up? Well, when, no. When I, think of, when I think of the top five, I mean, even the top 20, top 30, Snapchat's not in there. Right? Most, no, it is most visited website. It is, yeah, it's in the top twenty. No yeah. way. Yeah. Uh-huh. I have a, I have, I actually just spoke about this yesterday in San Diego. So visited websites in the well, world. Well, social country. apps. Oh, social apps. Social apps. I'm talking about. No, it's not on the website list. Okay, because number twenty is TikTok. One or 20. Reddit. Reddit was nineteen. TikTok yeah. was twenty, and then and then in, LinkedIn, LinkedIn was, was twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. 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 All right. So. So that's why it's a surprise when I look at Snapchat having 13 million users. I don't think it's an, a, a social a, a website though. I don't think people look at it as a website like you would. Like you don't go on, you don't open up your computer and open up Snapchat. It's all mobile. Yeah. And maybe you can. I don't know because I've never had it. I forbid my oldest daughter from having it, and so <laughs> and that was like seven or eight years ago, and I yeah, still refuse to get it. But see, my kids still use it. They it's that is their primary communication vehicle. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't like I that. don't use it, I but use they the do. They, they even tell me. My kids will tell me. Like, you're the only reason I, the only reason I get into my text is for you guys. Oh, interesting. They're like, we communicate with each other through Snap. No way. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Plus, I think people love Snap, especially females, because of the filters. I love the filters. The filters are... Yeah, that's true. But, but that's also something that the world is trying to potentially shift away from. You know what? We could talk about that. What? This new social app called Be Real. Oh. It's a, it's a brand new app. I was telling about Tristan that. about this last night. That, that is uh, the app. It's called Be Real. And it was designed by some French guys. And that's not relevant. But the, um, the purpose of the app is that you, get, um, you can only post once per day. They send you a message that says... It's your time to post, and you have two minutes to post. That's terrible. And it has to be original in the camera, Dude. so you can't filter shit. Imagine, imagine getting that, guys. Imagine getting a text, and you're in the middle of filming. <laughs> you're like, oh, hold Stop. on, hold on. But that's I have the idea. To post. So, but the, and so what that's it said was. Gonna work. So, but what it said was to show what you're doing with your day. Like, Dude, so it's if I'm presenting to a client, for pause, real estate, pause. Like, hold on, <laughs> I got, I got to do this. Hold on. Can you say something really smart? Oh, there you go. I think I don't, I don't know. I don't know that, that it's going to catch on or not. But I get the whole point. The point is, is to say, you know, so many kids nowadays are, you know, essentially I like it's ruining. Idea. It's ruining our world because yeah. nothing's real. And I wonder. You know what would work if you could give it boundaries and say, "Don't today. I'm going to be in these appointments. Don't don't make my window these times or these times." Especially for kids, don't make my window while I'm at school. I wonder if you can do that. I doubt it though, because then you're essentially planning. So they want to catch you off guard. And and then basically mm. the people who have the ability to stop what they're doing, post something real fast. Mm-hmm. Really, and it, it's this. It's like I'm, I'm presenting, snap, post, out. I don't know. I don't know if it's going right, to work. All right, but, you know, all right. Whatever. Well. Hey, hey, if nothing I, I else, I guarantee our three listeners have never heard of it, and you just heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I thought we had one. Mm-mm. All right, so we've got two listeners in the room. Snapchat. Three. <laughs> three. There you go. Snapchat. They're bringing them all from India because yeah. India banned yeah. TikTok. Yeah. And they have their own. They have one. What's it called? Their. I, uh, yeah. I don't stay. I don't stay hip to uh, Indian pop culture. Hold on, I do. It's called Josh. Oh I yeah, da- yeah, I yeah. downloaded right. it that That's one right. time. That's right. I do remember that. And so they copied everything that TikTok had. Yeah. So now. 
A lot of those people are going to YouTube. I mean, um, Snapchat. I want to re-download Snapchat just to check it out. Is there an opportunity for Snapchat, do you think? Uh, no, I don't think so. You don't think for, for us, marketing? Uh, you know, again, it's a messaging app. So, you know, go where your client is. This is why we promote as a social media strategy to be visible on every platform because the more visit, more platforms you're on, you're going to catch different people on different mm -hmm. platforms. You know, somebody, you know, Joe down the street might spend all of his time on Twitter. So if I'm tweeting, mm -hmm. I have a chance of being seen. If if my if the Sally down the street spends all of her time on Instagram, you know, these are the reasons why. Because what what does everybody say? They're like, well, I don't want to post my shit across multiple platforms because I feel like I'm annoying people. No, you're not, because most humans don't don't say, okay, I'm gonna open up Facebook for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna pop over to Instagram and then I'm gonna pop over to TikTok. No, they go into one of those apps and spend all of their time. That's where they gravitate to. True, true, true. I like that. You are right. You're I don't right. Know. Maybe I'm. I don't know if I'm right, but. Whoa. I just have an opinion. I want to talk about, unless you have something. I do, but go ahead. Let's go to the I really meta. want to talk about meta. Yeah. So I just texted it to my kids. So the one we just watched. Yep, yep. With, with Zuckerberg what? in the VR world. Yeah, yeah, so this is what he's saying. Here's the, here's the title to it. We'll have a link to this as well, so you can check so it out. So meta launches new creator funding program to fuel development of the metaverse. So the, the thing that we just watched explains how now... They're trying to bring in creators to to put in more content. How do you like that? <laughs> it's slightly sweetened. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna get hooked on it, dude. And then you're gonna have to order cases. Mexican coffee. It's the best. You were saying. It's the best. You were saying. So here's here's the thing. YouTube is still number two in the world because they have people like Mr. Beast and Dream and Tommy in it and all these kids and creators. That I mean even Sean Cannell, the guy would think, what is it? Uh, think media. All these people make tons of money from the creation. Mm -hmm. Dude, I made four thousand dollars last month on YouTube. Did you really? Yeah, I was like, what you the son fuck? of a bitch. What the fuck? What is this? Was I in any of those videos? Because none. None. Dick. So you didn't sign anything either. <laughs> so, um, plus, yeah. Did we? Did we have you sign anything today? <laughs> no. Shit. No. I'm okay. I'm recording this. So this isn't going on YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, YouTube. The reason they stay on the top is because they have so many creators getting paid. Yeah. So even though Zuck said, hey, I'm not going to pay anyone on Facebook. Nobody deserves as much money as they're getting on YouTube. He's kind of turning around yeah. and saying, well, he, hey, needs well, to. he needs to. I'm going to pay you if you help me develop the metaverse. Yeah. And that means, why don't you, in the metaverse, create cool little NFTs, like little trees. Little What was that lady saying? Little wings? Yeah, butterfly little, wings. Little butterfly wings. Yeah. Or, or dude, like, like Star Wars helmets, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That's that's what you're gonna help me do in the metaverse and help me create worlds. Yeah, like in Minecraft. Well, I thought that was exciting. It's called the Horizon World. That's that is what. So if you've seen Ready Player One, they, that what's that world called? I forget what it's called, but you know they, they had a specific name. To do you guys it. remember um, Ready Player One World? It's, it's the same that. concept, though. You don't even watch movies. You're, you're editing videos all day. You should watch Ready Player One. It's a, it's a freakish, it's probably a reality to what the world might look like. I don't think 2045, which I think is what the, the year they claim, but um, it has a good ending and it has a happy ending and they've, you know, they, they kind of break away from it, but it's, it's freakish. Yeah, uh, but that's what the horizon world is. And so uh, you, we talked about this. We're going to start using our Oculus and we want, to, uh, we want to start hosting these in the virtual world to where we are just our upper bodies. Because that's if you've not been in there and seen what your avatar looks like, it's only half of a body. There's no legs. Mm -hmm. um, but the key is they're allowing us to create these worlds. Yeah. And so envision this so that you understand it better. We're telling people to go... Well, Facebook is number three in the world, right? As a as the most visited website. Yep. Groups is what's driving it and keeping it alive. Yep. Now he's pretty much saying, well, why don't you create your own world, in essence, your own group and community, right? And I'll give you all of the, the default settings so you can put whatever you want here and there. And the more people you get in there to participate in this world, yeah. I'm going to pay you. Smart. And if you create little trees and little butterfly wings Raccoons. and people buy that shit, yep. I'll pay you too. Uh -huh. And I'm like, shit, that's why I was so excited. I sent it to my kids. Look, my son's like, that's what I wanted to do, but more realistic, right? Uh -huh. So uh -huh. I'm digging that, bro. Yeah, well, and, and that generation's going to have a leg up because they've already, they're already familiar with it. Yep. So, yeah, I, I agree. So I'm excited about that.
What about you? Uh, YouTube. YouTube adds a shorts shelf to its trending tab to highlight the top shorts clips. And it's going to be geographic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Like at the top? By region. Like on Instagram? Uh, correct. Yeah, it's going to have a trending. It's going to have its own shelf, a shelf display that says trending shorts. And it's going to be very geographic to the to your region. So, uh, you know. It, I didn't it, see that. It kind of it, it exemplifies that e even if you're not a big YouTuber, which it's a, it's a much harder video platform to succeed at because it requires very high quality video, which mm -hmm. most of us aren't doing that. But it. if you're already it. creating TikToks and Reels, start repurposing them to YouTube. You have a chance of actually gaining a following as a result of it. I like that. Mm -hmm. All right. I've had, a, I've had a few of my shorts get a few thousand views. Mm -hmm. So I like that they're going to highlight that. So look, if you're already... If you're already posting to Instagram Reels or TikTok, I don't think YouTube is penalizing you for keeping the logo. So just reuse it and upload yeah. it as a short for now. AKA YouTube is not threatened, Instagram is. Very interesting, do you think? It's ridiculous, Zuckerberg, you're better than that. I know you're listening right now. <coughs> we can send it over to him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not gonna fall onto his radar. Yeah, and that's all I got, dude. What else do you have? Uh, that's it. Um, Michael Glazer wants you to shoot some videos. Okay. So that's for the business video school. I'll shoot that. Uh, what are we going to do the rest of the day here, man? We're going to create some more content? Yeah, we're going to sit on sit on a sofa and talk. Cool. Sit outside and look at each other. You know what? That's uh, that's true, actually. Uh, you know what you didn't mention? You mentioned what? the group coaching. You didn't mention the consulting. So we're oh. actually, we just launched this. We're about ready to start with our first client. Uh, give give the, the, the listeners a little bit about what that means. So, for the, for example, we're not just going to be coaching him, and in this in this case, it's a him. He's in Southern California. We'll share more as it comes out, but we're going to help him create content, and we're going to help him distribute the content. We're going to take that content and we're going to chop it up into micro or shorter form content, and we're going to mm -hmm. and we're going to basically help him grow his brand. Uh, and it's going to be from we're going to be helping with with ideas, with scripting. We're going to be doing editing. Uh, we're going to be doing, what else? What else are we going to be doing as a part of? Uh... I think the key thing is identifying the opportunities that all of these business owners have and saying, hey, these, these are the things you're not doing. These are the titles for each of these videos, these short videos that you should be shooting. Hooks, hooks. right? Yeah. And, and then having our editors then refine these, these recordings that they're going to send us. Because it's not all about putting all this sh same shit out there. Like, you look at all these businesses... They have these same graphics. It's like Happy Easter. Yeah. And then yeah. Happy Sunday. Yeah. It's not good enough. And so we're going to take those videos that we also create. We're also going to create static images for you. So we're going to be creating a bunch of content for you on a monthly basis. Uh, now I'm excited. I'm most excited about that. Group coaching is a lot of fun and we're gaining great feedback from it. But I think mm -hmm. we're going to have a bigger impact on individuals and really helping them grow their brands and their business because this is where you have to be going. So That's it, dude. Cool. That's all I got. It's been fun, man. Oh yeah, I can, I can actually fist bump love, each love other. Fist bump you. That's yeah. different. Yeah, this might be the last time this happens for the next seven years. <laughs> That's not true. I'm seeing you next month. That's a good point. See you on the next episode. Thanks for listening to Social Genius, brought to you by Drunk on Social. We are here to help you take your business to new levels through social media. Make sure to subscribe to get updates on new episodes and come join us on our Drunk on Social Facebook page. And as always, make sure you leave us a great review on your favorite podcast app. Feedback and likes are very much appreciated. 